The economic landscape is bleak, racked by crisis, capital is constantly and desperately restructuring, setting new productivity goals and innovating new methods of exploitation. Millions of working class people's lives are becoming more precarious, expensive, and miserable. Faced with this situation, workers have responded by organizing strikes, pickets, and sit-ins. From the 1917 general strike in so-called Brazil to the massive farmer strike in India in 2020, strikes have demonstrated the strength of collective organizing through mass labor refusal. When you go on strike, you temporarily step outside of the role that capitalism casts for you by simply refusing to work. It is a direct action that disrupts the social relations that allow the machine to function. A picket line is a crucial element of a strike that conveys the strength of organized workers to outsiders. Pickets are ethical and physical lines drawn in the sand, a boundary we construct outside our workplaces that we ask that others not cross. While soft or info pickets aim to simply raise awareness, hard pickets exert more collective power by physically blocking entrance to a job site. Sit-ins gum up the machinery of capital by literally occupying the means of production, from factories to schools to stores and offices. In a sit-in, laborers not only refuse to work, but make it impossible for capital to replace them by continuing to fill their posts until demands are met. If you see striking workers, you can either respect their picket line and extend solidarity, or you can cross it. Crossing a picket line is an act of betrayal. By doing so, you side with the boss. People who cross picket lines are called scabs because they wound the solidarity that collective struggle relies on. As institutions continue to devalue people for profit, it's up to us to set the terms of our own working and living conditions. Individually, we might be no match against those who control capitalist and state institutions, but when organized together, we can bring their system to its knees. Remember, they need us more than we need them.